welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install a fantastic alternative to Microsoft Office. If you are working from home or just generally want to have Microsoft Office on your PC but cannot afford it or don't want to buy Microsoft Office, then OpenOffice is a fantastic alternative. And to download and install OpenOffice, the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below, and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, we now need to click on I want to download Apache OpenOffice, and we now need to make sure Windows is selected, and you now need to select your language. We want to install the latest version which will automatically be selected and we now need to click on download full installation. You now need to agree to the privacy on this website and we can now go ahead and press save file. Once the download has finished you now need to run this setup file and we now need to press next. You now need to choose where you'd like to install the setup files to for OpenOffice. I'm just going to download and install them onto my desktop. You now need to press install. And straight away, as you can see on my desktop now, the setup files are there. We can now go ahead and run the installation wizard. If you didn't get this window pop up, then just open up the folder and then just run the setup file. You now need to go next. And we can now go ahead and choose if anyone on this PC can use OpenOffice. I'm happy with that, which means I'm going to keep that selected. And you now need to go next. You now need to select complete as we want to do a complete install of OpenOffice. But if you do want to select custom, then go ahead and select what you would like to install. We can now go ahead and keep start link on desktop. That's fine and go install and it will now begin to install OpenOffice on your PC. Once OpenOffice has finished installing, you can now go ahead and press finish, and you will now have a shortcut on your desktop. But before we open up OpenOffice, you now need to delete the old installation files. As you can see, they are on my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and press delete, and they will now be in my recycle bin, which I can then empty. You can now go ahead and run OpenOffice and you now have the welcome screen. We can now go ahead and press next and you can type in your user details if you want to and press finish. And this is what OpenOffice looks like. As you can see, we have our text document, which would be like Word. We have spreadsheets, which would be Excel and presentation like PowerPoint. And as you can see, we have other things on the right hand side, like database, which would be like access. I'm going to go ahead and open up text document. And there we go. As you can see, we have a fantastic writer, which OpenOffice is called Writer, which is the equivalent to Word. And we have everything there. I can go ahead and type in test and I can change by font and everything at the top. And that is it for OpenOffice. Like I said, this is a great alternative to Microsoft Office. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.